I want every single American family to have a strong Medicare plan available. But the difference between what I support and what you support, Vice President Biden, is that you require them to opt in. They do not have to buy in. You just said that. You just said that two minutes ago. You just said two minutes ago that they would have to buy in. You said they would have to buy in. They would have to buy in. If she qualifies for Are you forgetting what you said two minutes ago? Are you forgetting already what you said just two minutes ago? Wow, it was more than awkward. The stunning moment last night when Julian Castro repeatedly questioned Joe Biden's memory, asking whether the 76-year-old forgot what he said two minutes earlier. Castro stood by his remarks today, and Senator Cory Booker seemed to defend Castro. Watch. There's a lot of people who are concerned about uh, Joe Biden's ability to carry the ball all the way across the end line without fumbling. And I think that Castro has some really uh, legitimate concerns about can he be someone in a long, grueling campaign uh, that can get the ball over the line. And he has every right to call that out. Sochi Inahosa is the communications director for the DNC. Sochi, good to see you. Big night for your party last night. Let me ask you this. Why are Joe Biden's competitors going after his memory? Well, what you failed to mention there was that Julian Castro then said that he believes that Joe Biden actually is a good candidate and he wasn't personally attacking him. That's not a, what he meant. He wanted to have a disagreement on um, health care and he wanted to talk about their plans and co contrasting their plans when it comes to providing more health care to the American people. So I think all in all, Julian Castro said, you know what, I believe he's a good candidate. I don't, you know, did not mean to personally attack him, but you know what, I do disagree with him. And I think that is fair game whenever you're talking about people's records and when you're talking about, especially when it comes to health care, your plan and how that differs from any, someone else's plan. All right. Well, I didn't fail to mention anything. This is not on me. Cory Booker then doubled down and defended Julian Castro on the point of viability of one's memory. Again, uh, is that helpful in this discussion that you would even make it part of it? Whether today on Second Blush gets a different read is one thing. Last night, the country got to see him call memory into question of Joe Biden. Well, that'll be a tactic that is up, up to the voters, whether that works. But at the same time, Cory Booker is also, what he's pointing out is that this is going to be a long campaign, that we don't know who the nominee is going to be, and that we are in a very competitive primary right now. I don't think that is news to anyone, that we have a competitive primary. That's why we have 12 debates, and we're going to talk about the issues in those 12 debates. And you know what? At the end of those 12 debates and at the end of this um, entire, entire presidential primary cycle, our nominee mm. will be well tested and well tested to take on Donald Trump. And we know that we need to do that in order to take Trump, take on Trump. And I believe that all of our candidates, including Joe Biden, Cory Booker, Julian Castro, understand that. They understand that our number one goal has to be all to right. beat Donald Trump. Goodness, I, I thought you were going to name all 10. Uh, meanwhile, the Democrats' <laughs> ideological divide was on full display last night, especially when it came to the topic of health care. Joe Biden going after Sanders and Warren's Medicare for All plan saying it's too costly, not workable. How do you pay for it? While well, they went after his plan to build on Obamacare. Uh, as you look ahead, what do you forecast for the American people for these candidates? Some of them are living in the same lanes as, as uh, Sanders and Warren and on this particular issue. Well, everyone on that stage agreed that we need to expand access to health care, and the status quo isn't doing enough. We just saw last week that the number of uninsured just um, went up and in a good economy, and that is something that is extremely alarming. So I welcome the conversations on health care, because that's what the American people care about. You saw in 2018, and I know you remember this, that in 2018, the two top issues that people cared about were health care and the economy. Right. Health care and the economy continue to be the issue I, I just wonder, does your so party it makes survive these... this to get through the primary? I mean, it, it really is glaring. I mean, at one point, Biden looked at Sanders and called out, you know, being a socialist. Uh, it was an interesting moment. Does your party survive this moving ahead? And did you see anybody on that stage that can beat President Trump, an incumbent with a good economy? 
absolutely, absolutely, we will survive this. And absolutely, are there candidates on that stage that can beat Donald Trump? Who? And but what I will say specifically on the issue of health care is that we all agree that we want to expand health care. And our message moving forward and our message in the general election will also be Democrats want to expand access to health care. We want to make sure that you can afford your prescription drugs while Donald Trump and Republicans want to take it away. We saw that in 2018. People voted for Democrats because we had the better plans when it came to health care. All right, and I want to slide that in because I only have a couple in seconds here. Is anybody looking into mm -hmm. the efficacy, the, the promise, if you will, of Andrew Yang to buy votes or what seemed to be? Now, I know Serena Williams' husband, the, the founder of Reddit, has stepped up and said he'll, he'll pay the thousands dollars a month for these families that donor money apparently was going to come from Yang look like buying votes. Anybody from the DNC looking at that? Well, I heard about his plan um, just when you did yesterday um, at, on that debate stage. But I think that what he's trying to say, and I have to dig in more um, to his plan, but what he's trying to say is that he believes that, you know, the American All people right. and um, families across this country can't afford to make ends meet at times. I, I and so scoot. he is willing to help them out. All right. Sochi Inhosa of the DNC, thank you very much.